I'm not impressed by someone calling himself a president when I can see through him and know that through, uh, through his history there is a fake certificate. There was for future, there were many things I don't want to talk about now. I'm not scared about a so-called number two whom I don't want to talk about. People felt surprisingly and you know I can never be intimidated or scared by people who do not play by the rules. The vice presidential candidate of Labour Party, Baba Dati Ahmed, you know, was on Arise television a day ago where he granted an interview and concerning the issues of Nigeria, talking about Wolosenka, talking about the vice president and Tinibu's one year in office. And he has a lot to say. But before I play you this video, let's not forget that it is worthy of note that this administration has performed poorly. We have complained so much about this already. But the truth still remains that those that are afraid of the development of Nigeria are the ones attacking the opposition. Instead of facing the, the governance, they are busy trying to see how they can sabotage or let's say they can restrict the opposition from making comments that will even hold them accountable for what they are doing. So let's watch what um, the vice presidential candidate of the three on the Labour Party, Babadat Dati Ahmed, said about the whole of this administration within the last one year. I am never scared. Um, if only you were playing, playing by the rules and you were clean and you were winning your elections, I could be scared of you. If you were legit, I would be scared of you. I would respect you actually if you were legit. You see, your own, your own Tunji Oseni. I remember clearly just before the final, I mean after the declaration, I was saying, so you think you what you won what? So brazenly, you know, break the law, do what you feel like. What, what have you, what do you think you have won? I'm not impressed by someone calling himself a president when I can see through him and know that. Through, uh, through his history, there is a fake certificate. There was for future, there were many things I don't want to talk about now. I'm not scared about a so-called number two, whom I don't want to talk about. People falling, uh, people failed surprisingly, and you know, I can never be intimidated or scared by people who do not play by the rules. If we're in a democracy, it is the people's power that we use. And we're using the people's power, not the ammo tanks of the Nigerian army, which belongs to the Nigerian people, not the barrels of the gun, not the tear gas that the Nigerian people are afraid of, okay? So, um, I, uh, at any day, if there is an election again, believe you me, the combat will defeat them. It's left for them to go and twist the constitution again, change the meaning of English uh, language, three-letter words, and declare by 4 a.m. with all the dynamics that happened before 4 a.m., which uh, you know, we say things are unspeakable. It was unspeakable why it had to be by 4 a.m. So yes, it is true that if we do things legitimately, do things rightfully, we will not be here talking, you know, all the time about this or that. The truth of the matter is that Peter Obi won their election and it was taken away from him. And upon the fact that now you said you have the capacity you have the vision, you have the ideas in your pocket and you are going to be in charge of the economy as an accountant and your vice president being in charge of this in uh, security being the fact that he has overseen a state where there have been a lot of insecurity over the years and under his watch over 200 girls were kidnapped so we have the first hand information about the insecurity that has ravaged the northern eastern part of the country over the last 10 years. But unfortunately, within the last one year, Nigeria has been reduced to perpetually, you know, a country that seems to not have any form of government. And that is the reason why Nigerians will continue to complain and continue to talk. The opposition will continue to hold the, con the, the ruling of Progressive con Congress accountable for every decision that they are making. And this is how it's been run all over the world. So most of the times, I wonder why they continue to attack the opposition in terms of 
they have been disrespectful or they are saying things they ought not to say or they're trying to bring religion or ethnic you know bigotry into politics while they are the one doing this all the time what do you make of this let's have to take at the comment section thank you for watching